Hi everybody, I'm Miss Sarah from the Fayetteville Public Library and this is Kids Create Preschool Edition. Today we are making fireworks crafts. Kids Create is part of our Summer Reading Club 2020. We hope you are joining us all summer long and have signed up for Summer Reading Club. If you haven't, please go to faylib.org forward slash SRC. All the information you need is right there. Let's get started. For this craft, you just need some paint, a fork, and some paper. Go ahead and squirt your paint out on a paper plate and then take your fork and stamp it in the paint and then stamp it on the paper. You can wipe your fork off between colors if you want to, but this is actually not a necessary step. Go ahead and switch colors and you can see that I'm making kind of a firework pattern with my fork. Here it is on blue paper in this one, I'm not cleaning my fork at all, and I think it actually makes it look better. It gives your firework a little bit more dimension. Don't worry about your metal fork. The paint comes right off. Ta-da! There you go. Fork fireworks. This is a classic project. All you need is glue, construction paper, and glitter. Make some firework patterns with glue on your paper. Then get your glitter out. Cover each design with your glitter. Make sure you're working on a tray or outside so you don't make a huge mess. Then give your paper a little shake shake and a tap tap and ta-da! Fireworks! This is firework printmaking. What you need is cardboard circles, paper, yarn, scissors, and paint. You're going to take your cardboard circles and cut eight notches in each circle. The notches don't have to be very deep. Now you're going to get your yarn and cut off a pretty good amount and insert your yarn into the notch of the cardboard circle and then you're going to wrap it around the circle in order and you're going to repeat that several times. It's very important that you go in order in a pattern so that you have a very nice star pattern when you finish. If you have extra yarn at the end, just tie it off at the back. The other tip is to make sure you use enough yarn to wrap around your circle several times. When you make your star pattern, you want your star to stand out from the cardboard circle. If you only go around once, it will be too flat and you won't be able to stamp the paint. There you go, that one looks good. Now put some paint on a plate and you are going to use these cardboard circles as stamps. The first one that you stamp is usually the worst one, so you may want to use a spare piece of paper for that one. The stamps tend to get a little bit cleaner and better looking as you go along. As I was doing this project, I found it fun to mix the colors of the paint because it kind of gave my fireworks a nice layered effect. This is especially true when I got to the white paint.
Oh, look at that. That looks great. There we go. Print making fireworks. Good job, everybody. For our last project, you need sidewalk chalk, black paper, and some cups of water. You're going to put the sidewalk chalk in the water and wait about 30 seconds. This is going to make your chalk wet and not dry. And then we're going to see what happens when we draw with it. Well, drawing with wet chalk is really pretty cool. It has a thicker, heavier line and a real vibrant color pattern. So I chose to draw fireworks. But you know what? You could draw anything you wanted in this way. It would be interesting to go outside and see if you drew on the street with wet chalk, if it had a different effect than using dry. Wow, those fireworks look really good. Nice job. Boys and girls, I hope you try this project at home. I really had a lot of fun with it. All done. Well, boys and girls, Frankie and I are so glad you joined us today to make fireworks crafts. We hope you make some. Maybe you can make one for a neighbor or a friend and drop it at their front door. We hope you have a great 4th of July. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye.